we sitting here talking right now on some real positive, strong ass shit. If what I'm talking about can't affect y'all and help change your world on a day to day basis, based on what I'm talking about right now, then, then okay, what am I doing again? Fuck, I'm spending this much time on the phone with you for. Mm-hmm. That's not a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> I need to change what I'm saying. I need to, I need to show more weaknesses, more flaws, give more information. I need to do something. If y'all yeah. tell me, if any one of y'all tell me y'all got a particular goal and I can't help you achieve that goal, then what the fuck? But the only way I'm going to help you achieve that goal, I know for me, is to help you be a better person. Right. I don't know everything about real estate. Hold on. I'm gonna keep it hundred. Case I don't know exactly exactly what you want to do with video and motion graphics and shit like that. I don't know. I don't know how far you want to go with that. But if I can make you a better, real uh, well-rounded person that you can see things better and research better and study better and engage things and look at things in a certain way, you'll be able to, you'll be able to bring to you whatever you need to bring to you. That's my goal. Mm-hmm. Not to have me as your crutch, yeah. but to make you the source of your own ability and inspiration to go and get what the fuck you want. Mm-hmm. I do, and I'm lazy at it, bro. I swear I'm lazy as shit at it. <laughs> Only because of what I done done and what I done seen. Like, wow, for real? It's like this? It's not as big. Whatever your struggles and your trials are, it's not as big as what you're making them out to be. It's not. Yes, sir. It's not. Anyway, I'm on my, I'm, let me hop down off the pulpit. One of y'all hop up on that bad boy. I need to go sit in the audience right now and listen to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you got to sit there and let that marinate real quick, man. Yeah. Right, 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 right. You got to let that thing simmer for a minute. You got to digest that one. My, stom- my stomach's full. I got to undo the belt and sit back and let that digest. Now, that's that funny as hell. Hold on. Undo the belt. <laughs> now, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> but yes sir I, I do totally agree with everything that you just said the biggest point that sticks in my mind is with as information gatherers all three of us are and I'm sure some of the people who are listening to us are uh, the, as you gather more information and you become more intelligent you become more studious and you become more confident in your abilities to have uh, an intellectual conversation with anybody who might be around you, it's real easy for your ego to wield your confidence, match with that new intellect to tear people down. Yeah, and to piggyback off that, to to piggyback off that, uh, when you come into information, I was just having a conversation with a friend, I have a friend who like recently just came into blackness, and we all know how that goes. You know, you come into the information, mean you angry at everybody because they don't know what you know and you know you get to a point where you're like okay mm-hmm. everybody's not gonna know what i know so just being able to look at yourself in the mirror and be like okay i really want to help these help my people i can't be sitting on this pedestal because i'm not god my ego yes enough. needs to be checked at the door if i can ultimately help people because you can't help people on a pedestal unless you lend your hand out so, so, I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. I like mm-hmm. that a lot. What the guy say? What the guy say? He said, I think I will go down now. You know what I'm saying? The guy had to come down. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if God got to come down off his, we got to definitely come down off our little stump that we own. <laughs> Which most of the time, shit we on is monkey shit. <laughs> yes, sir. We yes, on that sir. monkey shit. Hold on one moment. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Oh, too late. Too late. That's old girl's son. 
He with his dad. But you with your you with your dad, boy. Anyway. Um, but yeah, we be on that monkey shit. So yeah, I like that, man. Mm-hmm. That hope that that you can't be up on your pedestal when you can't even extend your hand or I feel you. Yes, gone. Yes, sir. So and it's easy to be gone. So let's let Let's do this, y'all. In conclusion, I want to wrap it up because I don't want it to be too long, even though it's not already been an hour and it felt like it ended in two minutes. Damn. Wow. Yeah. For real? I mean, I talk too fucking much. <laughs> yep. My bad, man. I apologize, y'all. No. Nah. Hey. hey. Look, normally podcasts are this long, so. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so we good. So uh, I want to give uh, each one of us just a chance, chance to do like some little closing remarks. Uh, Sean, we'll start with you. Give it like a look. Let's t- put a bow on it. Okay, um, like, what do you want me to close on? Because I covered a few things. So what's the main thing you'd like me to close on? Just kind of kind of what it is that you feel like you want people to walk away with from this conversation. I want people to feel as though if you're out here searching to figure yourself out, you need to be able to listen learn, humble yourself, shut up, take in. Also, you need to be ready, willing and able to go and teach when the opportunity presents itself. You're not getting information Mm -hmm. just for you, you're getting information for others. So if the Mm -hmm. opportunity opens itself up, somebody come out tomorrow, hey man, we need you to be at this place tomorrow at such and such time, to talk on the topic of whatever, and you know you into that mm-hmm. zone, and you've been studying that, you better show your ass the fuck up. You better be on fucking time and ready to talk your ass off. Because if you're not, mm-hmm. you're not deserving of receiving a damn thing if you just hold it and hoarding it for yourself. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Dope, dope, dope. Uh, what I would uh, end on is, uh, and then Keith, going to let you finish it up, um re- remember what we essentially the first analogy or metaphor or the primary one that we use in the uh, right there at the beginning is um the baby falling and getting up and mm. understand that that applies to everything that we do mm. like chunk it mm. applies to relationships it applies to a job it applies to a business everything. it applies to whatever every you are doing everything is everything so if you just walk out, you know, it was, a, it was a story about this one lady who used to go around on the, I, I can't remember if it was a sister or if it was a brother, but they used to go around the countryside and they had one message and they got famous preaching one message all over the United States. This is like back in the 60s or the 70s. Mm-hmm. And I forget what the message was, but they were so consistent and the message was so basic, but they kept bringing people back to the basics. And it's the basics really that'll have folks, um, performing at a high level and getting that foundation. So if we can just remember that every single day. I know me, that's what I got from it. And that's what I'm going to take from the discussion is whatever it is I'm trying to do, recognize I'm a baby and falling down and then getting up is how I learn to walk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So Keith, you got it. No, well, I don't know how to follow that. But, uh, follow you follow what? You follow whatever was in you. I didn't yeah. say what he said. I thought what he said was dope as hell. <laughs> that wasn't what I said. Hold on, it don't matter. What's what's your thing? But yes, um, sir. also, my my thing is, you know, me being significantly younger than y'all, I kind of see it from a different perspective. Uh, be willing to learn. Be willing to learn, and not be so caught up in oh, I got it. I I know. I got it. Uh, can nobody tell me nothing? Just, just mm-hmm. like what you said, Miss Anthony, being able to be able to go into a room and be able to teach, you also have to be able to go in a room and actually sit down and listen because mm-hmm. nobody is, like you said, nobody's perfect. But there's always something you can learn from somebody, whether whether you think you can or you not. So just always be open to learning it. Whether you Hold on. Let, and let me let me say say this too though. Go teach some people. Mm-hmm. I'm saying this to y'all. Go, go to school. Like, once this shit back, open back up, go to school. Even if it don't open back up, or however it is, talk to some people. Mm-hmm. 
there's plenty of people out here like, hold on, you want to come talk to these kids? You want to come talk to these groups? Is this a group or whatever? Go talk to them. It's going to help you. Yes, indeed. If you're not in the habit of talking to people and giving classes and stuff like that, hold on. Poets do it every time they speak. Poets do mm-hmm. it every They teach it every single time. So it should be easy for a poet to go do it. But for somebody that ain't <laughs> yes, used sir. to that, you want to really grow? Shh, Keith, you want to really grow? Take the little information you got right now. Go talk to somebody about it. Go talk to a group about it. Don't mm-hmm. Online is cool. Do that. But no, connect with other people. Get into a group environment and talk about what you know. Hey, this is me. Don't try to make yourself out to be something that you're not. Don't do that. Don't lie to people. Hey, y'all, I'm this, 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 and this. This is what I am. But I've done this, 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 and this. Maybe you can benefit from this information. Let's get it. It's it's a beautiful Mm -hmm. experience. Do that. If you don't do nothing else, go do that. You can't go. If you can't do that. (laughs) If you can't do that, what you doing? (laughs) Yes, sir. Like, All right, okay. y'all. Yeah. So this has been dope. This has been cold, a cold conversation. Uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. I learned a lot. Hopefully everybody within earshot has learned just as much or more as I did. And we're going to catch y'all on the flip side, man. This is IOA, Mr. Nock Chamba, Anthony Stewart, the author of The Code, and Keith the King signing off. Holler at y'all later. Peace out. Peace. Peace. Um, Hey, it's Keith, one of the co-hosts from uh, Cold Conversation. Um, I wanted to thank you guys for watching. Um, I know this video is a lot longer than normal, but I wanted to go ahead and finish it out. Um, thank you, my co-host Ayo, uh, as a kool uh, my uncle, a.k.a. my uncle, um, Anthony Stewart, the co-writer of The Code. Um, links are in the description for for all their uh, socials. They're the only socials they really have. Um, my socials are in the link. Um, we're building something great over here. Um, so I want to make an outro. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any topic suggestions, y'all think y'all want to hear from Mr. Anthony, um, from my uncle, or even me, like, uh, let me know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a key sports on it. And then in the next cold conversation, we can talk about it. Um, just let us know. Just let us know. We're here to serve y'all. We're to serve the community. Um, building something great um so thanks for watching um here are the rest of them if you haven't looked at the rest of the, the videos because this is the last one maybe i caught the, maybe you caught the last one maybe you caught the fifth one maybe you caught the fourth one who knows but so here are the here are the here's the playlist for them here's also a playlist for other codes that we've done so uh come around chill i got enough content to last you through most of this quarantine, um, if you're in the, if you're in the sports, go check out my um, black quarterback series. So um, it's a lot here for you. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next week.